but I have to leave about six. I can't stay. No there. problem. I'm going to, I'm going to cover as much as I can, but I think we should be done. Let's go. All right. President Obama. Hmm. Okay. He's a president or President Clinton, Bush, whatever it is. Any new president that's in the, in the country, right? That's elected into office. So what as a president, if you can't do a damn thing? Well, yes, a president is a president. That's just the name. That's his name. You understand what I'm saying? A president is a president, right? But guess what? When you give somebody the title president, that comes with certain responsibilities behind that. He's commander in chief. He can enact legislation. He can, he, you know, all kinds of stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? He can get, he gets to fly the, the, the big aircraft. You can see, you know, he can eat all the food he wants, whatever, right? He can do whatever. He's the president of the United States, for Christ's sakes, right? Watch this. <laughs> Suppose, I know that for the past, for the next 30 days, I'm gonna have brand new users coming into the data, um, coming into the, into the company, right? Coming into our company. And it's been a mandate from the CIO that each one of these users must have create session, create user, drop user, create table space, create sequence, create view, Create materialized views, create sequence, drop sequence. Select on this table, select on that table. You must have 10 different privileges. For Christ's sake, if, listen everybody, listen. If I know for the next 10 days, I mean for the next 30 days, I'm gonna have 10 new users. Am I gonna be doing, granting each one of these users, each one of these 10 users, all these um, privileges, one at a time, right? For the next 30 days? No, I'm not going to do that, right? Think about how much work that's going to be for me on a daily basis. It's annoying, right? Why don't I just create what we call a role that has all these privileges and grants that role to each user? Doesn't that make sense? Kind of like with, the, with, with President Obama. When you say president, he has all these different things that he's unable to have. You understand what I'm saying? All these things. The word president is just a name, right? But what's behind the president is the privileges he has as commander in chief and so on and so forth, right? All right. So now, I'm gonna teach you guys how to create roles. What is a role? A role is what? Yes. A role is a combination of what? No. Yes. A role is a combination of system privileges and or other roles. No, no, it's a combination of privileges and, regardless of whether system or, or, or table, it's a combination of, of, of privileges and or other roles. What am I basically saying? A role has at least one privilege or at least one role in it. Okay. At least, notice I said at least. But most of the time it has multiple privileges or multiple roles associated with it. Either or, or both, right? So if I want, if I want to give this guy 10 privileges and I also want to give this lady 10 privileges, I'm just gonna create a role, give, I'm just gonna die once, I'm gonna die once. I'm going to create a role, grant the privileges to that role, and then grant the role to every, every new person for the next 30 days. Make sense? All right. So how do I create a role? To create a role, I simply do what? Create role. Let's call this role um, new role. That's it. That's how you create a role. Create role, new role. Create role, new role. You have to, everybody, you must be connected as sys, DBA. You must be connected as sys, DBA. You must be connected as sys, DBA. Bam, 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 bam.
Right? Great role, new role. I don't write on that. Right? So now, let's grant some privileges to this new role. Let's grant some privileges to this new role. So how do I do that? Just like you grant a user, you do the same thing. So I do what? Grant create session select any table update on scott.emp to new role. Everybody do that. Who are you logged as? So TV? Yeah. Grant create session. Where's your comma? Yeah. I put a comma after the table. Uh -huh. Where are you looking? Why are we looking here? Are the to the green create so doesn't want to do the green create. Okay. Oh, yeah. my bad. You cannot combine system privileges. This, this didn't work for anybody, right? No. Right? You cannot combine system privileges and table privileges in the same. You got to do one at a time. So you do all your system privileges one, and then all your other privileges to another one, right? So everybody, erase this. So do what? Grant, create session, select any table to new row. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Uh-huh. Now, everybody, now, grant what? Grant select on, I mean, it's kind of productive. If I do grant select on HR to employees to, to Nero, but just so you can see that you can do that. So grant select, everybody do grant select on scott.emp to new row as well. Although it doesn't make any much, it doesn't make much sense because we're already, uh-huh. Let's do that. So you can grant him both, right? How are we looking? It keeps See the last part again? Every time, it just keeps taking me out for some reason. No, you we can, no. You can't do connect sysdba. You can't do connect sysdba. And you can't do SQL plus s and sysdba from SQL. You but got to, no, it's just this. To connect a sysdba, you just con sysdba. That's okay. it. it. That's not what you've been doing. You, look, look what you're doing. You're doing con sysdba. Then you're putting the password, right? Okay, See? It won't again. Yes, this is how you do it. Connect, right? Always. Huh? When you want to do Scott Daddy? Use a green. Identify by green. Account unlock. Green has already been created. Okay. Okay. Create user. Um, um, I'm red. Create user. Yes. Create user red. Identify by red. Account unlock. Create user, create user red, identify by red, account unlock. Mm -hmm. Account unlock. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's play. All right, create user fish then. Create user fit, if this works, if, if, okay. Create user fish. No, 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 let's use. I want it to be universal. Everybody, do create user fish, identify by fish, account unlock, please. Even if you agree, yes, yeah, even if you agree. Create user fish, I want it to be universal, everybody fish. Create user fish, identify by fish, account unlock. <laughs> create it, right? <laughs> All right, so now everybody, now watch this. Right now, fish, can't do anything, can he? He's just, at this point, it's just words. He doesn't own anything, it's just words at this point. So now, let's empower this fish guy by giving him the ability to what? Create a session and to do what? Select any table and select on scott.emp, although that's monotonous, right? Okay, so what are we gonna do? Now I'm gonna grant, I'm gonna grant what? I'm gonna grant uh, 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 fish the role. So I do what? Grant. New role to fish. That's it. Grant new role to fish. So now, what can fish do? 
Fish can do what? Basically, everything that that role has, just like the President Obama, right? Everything that comes with that, with that role, he can now do. He can create a session. He can select any table. He can select the scott.emp if he wanted to. Right? Everything that comes with the role, he can do. Right? Very good. What'd you say? That's because you didn't create it. So just create new role. Create new role. No, create role, new role. Create role, new role. Semicolon, enter. So now, copy and paste all that. No, but that, copy and paste this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Just paste. See? See? Yeah. So now, now grant new role to fish. No. Copy and paste. Okay. Right? So now, fish can do what? He can do everything that this new role can do. Everything, all the privileges that are associated with new role, now fish can do. You understand what I'm saying? Now watch this. What if I ask you on a question on, on, a, on the project? I say, okay, fine. Show me all the system privileges that this role has, new role. All the system privileges, right? That new role has. You you use what? DBA underscore sysprivs, right? So everybody, the answer to that is would be simply this. It's the same way that you you see all the system privileges that a user has is the same way that you, you see all the system privileges that a role has. A role and a user are kind of similar in that way, right? So now I want to see all the system privileges that a role has. So what I do, I simply do what? Select privilege, select privilege from DBA underscore sys underscore privs where grantee equals new role. Right? Not where role. Where grantee equals new role. You understand what I'm saying? You see that? See? So this is, you see? No, no, no. You, no. New role must always be in caps. You see? Everything that you're doing when it comes to your data dictionary must always be in caps. Always in caps. This. And then you have to put after the equality sign. We're talking about data dictionary tables must always be in caps and in quotes. As long as it's not a number. As long as it's not a number. You understand what I'm saying? Where are we at? You have two, two, right? Select any table and create session. These are all the system privileges, right? That the role can do, that the role can have. All right, so now watch this. 